Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will see technical walkthrough of step-by-step -step machine learning with linear regression using Python. As you can see my screen, I have created Jupyter Notebook step-by-step -step ML and first thing we will do is import necessary libraries. We are importing NumPy for numerical operations, then import matplotlib for data visualization, train test split and linear regression from scikit-learn for dataset splitting and linear regression model. Second step is to generate or load any dataset. I am here putting headings for each step for better understanding and it is a very good practice. Today for understanding, step by step, we will generate dataset using NumPy. We are using np that is numpy.random ch0. With using ch0, the same set of numbers will appear every time. We will create random set of 100 rows and one column as an array and assign it to variable x. That is x equals to 2 multiplied by random array of 100 rows, which will be our independent variable. Then we will generate our dependent variable y as 4 plus 3 multiplied by x plus num by random generated 100 rows. Oh, I think I type incorrectly assignment operator. So fixing it. Yeah. Now we will check the data assigned in our variables. So in the next cell, first we will check value of variable x. You can see the list of data. Similarly, now checking the value of data y, uh, value of variable y, and you can see the list of data as well. Now step three is dividing our data set into train and test split of data. We divide our data set into train and test split as it helps access how well our machine learning model will generalize to new unseen data. It has multiple significance as it helps prevent overfitting where model performs well on the training data but fails to generalize to new instances. We will learn about it in details in our upcoming videos. There are several methods to split data sets and each method senses different purposes and has its own advantage and disadvantages. Here we are using train test split from scikit-learn to split data with test size as 0.2 or 20%. This version is dividing the test variables to x test and y test with 20% of variable data of x and y respectively and rest of 80% of x and y variable is assigned to x train and y train data. Now let's see the output of newly created variables x train. You can see the list of data x test. You can see 20% or 20 rows of data is entered in x test. Further similarly for y train and y test. Now next step is to create any machine learning models over the data set. In this example, we are creating linear regression model. Since we have already imported library for linear regression, we will now create an object model for it. Now we will train the data using linear regression models using fit function, that is model.fit x train and y train. If you get output as linear regression, that means the model is created with no error. Now we will make prediction using the same model with test data. For this, we are creating new variable yfred, which will hold the prediction output of our model. We will use predict function that is yfred equals model dot predict x test. Now let's see the value in yfred or the predicted data. In our next step, let's visualize the data and the regression line. We have already imported matplotlib which will help us create both scatter and line plot. Firstly, we will create scatter plot with x text and y text and give label as actual data and dots defined by color blue. Then name x and y axis enabling legend and title of the plot as scatter plot of actual data and then plot.show which will show us the plot. Here you can see that we have here scatter plot of actual data. 
Now in next cell we will add regression line to the plot. For that I am just copying the whole plotting code and will add one more line to the plot line graph with x test and predicted value y pred. And when I run it, oh uh, I think the spelling of x test is incorrect. So yeah, when I run it, you can see the regression line of our machine learning model. Now the next step is evaluation of our model. Evaluation of model is the process of using different evaluation metrics to understand a machine learning model's performance, strength and weaknesses. It is very important to access efficiency of model. There are multiple evaluation methods used for ev evaluating a machine learning model. In this video, we will use mean squared error and R squared metrics to evaluate our model. Now before we evaluate our model, let's, uh, let's understand in brief what are these. Firstly, mean squared error. It is a common mathematical matrix used in machine learning to measure the average square difference between predicted value and the actual values. This is useful for evaluating the accuracy and performance of a regression model. A good model will have mean square error value closer to zero, indicating a better goodness to fit to the data. Firstly, we will import the library from sklearn.metric and import mean squared error. We will create variable MSE assigning function output of mean squared error of y test and y pred. Then print the value of variable MSE and the output we can see is 0.066, which means our machine learning algorithm is good as it is very close to zero. Now next evaluation metrics we will talk about is R squared. R squared is a statistical measure used in regression analysis to evaluate the goodness of fit of a model. This helps us understand how well the independent variables in a regression model explain the variation in dependent variable. A good model has R squared value between 0.5 to 0.9. That means more the R square value closer to 1, more better the model. We have imported library R2 score which will help us determine the R squared value. We have now created variable R2 to which we are assigning output of function R2 score, Y test and Y pred. Now printing the R squared value and it comes up at 0.96. That means our machine learning model is 96% accurate. We will perform more learning regression model in our upcoming videos. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any new content.